Olympics is, a, is, is good and having experienced the torch um, the re marathon relay today I think it's a very good thing and it's nice to see people come out on the streets given given what's happened uh, you know less than 12 months ago we had a lot of riots here right on this street and uh, it's nice to see a lot of people smiling um, and coming together even if it's just for a day I think it's a good thing and you get a real sense of it just now you know you've got people flying Union Jacks and coming out on the streets and a lot of people are smiling which is nice to see you know in this in this time that we're living in it's it's uh, it's nice to have a little bit of a welcome um, diversion and this is a good, it's not a diversion but it's a nice thing that's going to happen to the area. How do you feel part of the Olympic Well, I mean not really, although I live uh, very close to Olympic uh, Stadium and uh, I get a lot of helicopters flying over my, uh, my house every night so maybe that makes me part of the experience. But I tell you what, something like today actually does bring it home. And I think that's very nice because uh, up until now, you know, things like the torch relay, that's just something that you see on TV. But of course, you know, when you're, it's in your own borough and it's on your own street, then it's, it's definitely worth coming down. And that actually, I think, does give everyone here, everyone around, look how many people have come out today. That's really nice. So I think it does give people a sense of involvement, even if we can't get tickets to go to the games. Have you got tickets? No, I wish. I wish. I tried. And unfortunately, uh, I was like so many others. I didn't get, uh, I didn't get the job, my tickets. So you know, I'm gonna have to watch it on TV yeah. or on a big screen in Victoria Park, perhaps. So how are you going to experience the Olympics? The period? Well, where are you going? Possibly. Well, I mean, I live right next to uh, Victoria Park, and they've got a lot of events taking place during the course of the Olympics and the Paralympics, and they're gonna have big screens. And from what I understand, you can just go apply for a ticket for a day pass or something. I don't think it's very much. I think it may even be free. So I may catch a few, uh, a few events down there. Because I think in the summer, I tell you what, when the sun comes out in London, it, it's a nice place to be. We haven't had a lot of sun this summer. You know, it's been a lot of rain and a lot of, a lot of bad weather. So if it's like this during the Olympics, it's going to be quite, kind of nice. So I'm, uh, I'm going to go out into Victoria Park and, and have a look at some stuff if I can. If not, then I'll you know, be on TV like everyone else. I'll be cheering Usain Bolt at home. I'm not going to the park to see that. I want to watch that at home. Who's Olympics? Who's Olympics? Who's Olympics? Well, you know, I think this is really the Olympics for the, for the athletes and also for, uh, really, for the sponsors and the people who organized it. I think it says a lot that you can't take food into the games. I think it says a lot that you, you know some people who work at the you know event staff. What you read is that they're not allowed to wear Pepsi, for example, because Coke's a major sponsor. So I don't know whose Olympics it is. It's going to be uh, really, you know, like I say, the organisers because they'll they'll get a lot of audits. The sponsors they get a lot of money and the athletes. So.